As winter blows into Utah right now, you might be dreaming of a winter getaway somewhere mm. else. <laughs> if you are ready to explore a faraway land, travel blogger Jennifer Broom is here to whisk us away and share some of her international travel tips. Yeah, you guys, you can jump at the airport and go all over the world from Salt Lake City. And I know with those string of days that are coming up with highs in the 30s, mm. maybe you want to go to some tropical destinations. Sure. So I would suggest going with an adventure tour company. Now, I'm no, normally a solo traveler maybe one or two other people. So I researched and I went with a company called G Adventures and I went down to Belize and Guatemala. Both countries are phenomenal. Now this is Tikal. This is in Guatemala. You can hike up these stairs and then you get to the top of some of the temples and the views are incredible. Flores in Guatemala, a fantastic quaint town. Cave tubing, have you guys ever gonna, done that? I was just gonna ask you if you did any cave tubing. I you, did. You certainly did. Yeah, this is San Ignacio, this like area. Like Belize is like the best place in the world for that, isn't it? It is fantastic mm -hmm. for that. Also amazing to see the Mayan ruins like here at Caracol. Just incredible. Very few people go here. About 20 20 people a day. You can go and soak in natural pools. Doesn't just sound like heaven yeah. to uh, be there. I want to go the jump into that thing right now. Yeah, yeah, it's just an incredible place. And then took the ferry over to Key Cocker did a really cool thing called Bike With Purpose. These students took us around the island as part of the Planetara Foundation and really got to learn a lot about the island and the Blue Hole, one of the iconic oh gosh, diving how areas. how gorgeous that is. Yes, in the world. The sunsets are just incredible. Now, so, are these places getting more and more popular? Yes, they are. And I would say with Belize, the only word of caution I would give you would be Belize City. Violence Stay and in crime there. is yeah. a problem in that I city. I actually went down there as well and it was yeah. definitely sketchy. Yeah, that area only. The rest mm -hmm. of the country is fine. I found Guatemala to be amazing as well. I'd also suggest going with a tour company, gadventures.com. I wanted, if you I wanted to ask out. you about that because yeah. Did, did the tour company plan all those little they stops did. for you and then you don't have to deal with it? They did. You have a CEO that goes with you if you do it with G Adventure. Mm -hmm. So your, your chief experience officer takes you along. And then they also use local guides, which is something I really love. And they do things that help the communities there and do some, like the Bike with Purpose with Planetara Foundation mm -hmm. that really supports mm -hmm. those local areas. All right, so we're in winter. Okay. And one of the best times of year to see the Northern Lights is in the winter season. And one of the best places to do that is Iceland. Reykjavik, it is a colorful coastal town. Kind of something that surprised me was that. Okay, there I am, Blue Lagoon. <gasps> oh You've my got goodness. to the do hot it. Springs. It is, it is. I will tell you the thermal, the thermal pools. I will tell you it is touristy right there. So just a word of caution on that. Waterfalls, one of the only places in the world that you can go waterfalls, volcanoes, then also see geysers all within mm. less than 30 minutes of each that other. Interesting. Okay, let's go driving into the White Abyss. <laughs> we, I did this with Moonwalker and Bessie just took us so I could experience what weather was like, because I'm also a meteorologist, oh, what weather was like fully in Iceland. And Sifra, this is the only place in the world that you can snorkel or dive between tectonic plates. And Ooh. yes, the water is cold. <laughs> I would so, so, yeah. Give, me, give us an idea of what the temperature difference is here, because you're talking about, you know, going to these uh, Iceland mm -hmm. ice-covered areas. You're snorkeling. Okay, so uh, you're snorkeling, in the hot springs. What are the di difference in temperature? So there? the water was about 37 degrees. Okay. You are in a dry suit. I went with a company called Diving Island, a smaller boutique outfitter. That's another tip I would give you when you are traveling. Go with the smaller outfitters. You'll get more personalized attention. I would also say with Iceland, it is voted the number one safest country in the world, or almost always at the tops of the list. So that's another tip for you: mm -hmm. is to go to those safest countries. As far as clothes, wear what you would wear to go skiing mm -hmm. or to do outdoor adventures here. That's the same thing that you would wear there. It is a little bit more of a damp cold though in Reykjavik because you are right on the water. Okay, so let's go back to warm. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. So Southeast Asia, I think a lot of folks have that kind of on their bucket list. A lot of folks think Thailand, but I would suggest Cambodia. I started in Sunukville and then took the ferry over to to Koh Rong, which is an amazing island. And guys, I stayed in a bungalow for $75 a night. The island right across was $1,500 a night. What? Wow. Then you've got to take the tuk-tuks. you got to do those in Phnom Penh. Now, this was one of my most difficult travel days, but also most educational, dealing with the genocide that happened in Cambodia and visiting the S-21 prison, meeting one of the seven survivors out of the 14 to 20,000 people that went through that prison. I mean, that's part of history It right is there, part so of history. you kind of have to check that out. 
have. Yeah, in the killing fields, um, a tough day, but then topped it off with a fun night in the night markets. The Asian night markets are just incredible. The ice cream, I mean, that you've got to have the sugar cane drink, the shopping, dining for $1.25 for my entire dinner. I mean, that's the taste of culture right there, oh, walking through the night markets. So, I would agree with you. It is so incredible in Angkor Wat. You have to do that in Sion Reap. It is an incredible complex of temples. It's also where Lara, you know, Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, that's mm -hmm. where they filmed some of that. So you can kind of get that feeling so of really touching history. So many exciting things and yeah. just itching now <laughs> to go travel overseas. But if you want to check out more of Jennifer Broom's adventures and tips on how to do it right, go to swepteawaytoday.com and get all that information there. Thanks, guys. Great to see yeah. you again. Thank